Far Cry 3 was an excellent game. Putting first-person action and adventure into a paradise setting not only provided a breathtaking vista as you shot pirates to bits, but also provided a real sense of jeopardy as you attempted to save your friends whilst on what should have been the travelling holiday of a lifetime. Far Cry 4 puts you in the middle of a war as, on the way to scatter your mother's ashes in the Himalayas, your truck gets ambushed and you get taken into custody by an enigmatic bad guy called Pagan Min. Of course, you escape, unless you hang about for a while to take advantage of a cool easter egg, and then go about helping a resistance movement called the Golden Path to take down this self-appointed king. Far Cry 4 is more of the same, but that's really not a bad thing, and thankfully, there are enough new touches in here to make the game still feel fresh enough to play, whilst providing so many things to do and collectibles to grab, if you're the sort of person who likes to play a game 100%, you'll be kept busy for a very, very long time. There are enemy bases to capture so you can use them as fast travel locations and trading posts, there are radio towers to climb which act as a platform puzzler, and when you shut down the transmission you reveal locations around you. There's tons of treasure and loot to collect, karma activities to complete, propaganda posters to tear down and loads more. You'll also be battling with the wildlife so you can skin their hides and craft bigger pouches and ammo bags and use them to your advantage by either throwing bait to attract predators or getting elephants to charge and kill everyone in the camp. You can even ride them if you unlock the perk via skill trees where you can garner new abilities by following the path of the aforementioned elephant or the tiger. Animals can be a bit annoying at times, especially if you're trying to be stealthy and you get ambushed by a massive leopard. There are vehicles dotted around the map to jump into and one neat trick is a kind of cruise control on roads. Click the left stick in and the car will follow the waypoint which means you can either shoot at enemies or just enjoy the ride. The coolest vehicle though is this one man gyrocopter which can get you over cliff tops if you can't be bothered to climb them. Grappling is new to the Far Cry series and means you can fire off a hook and ascend, descend and swing around the landscape where you see ropes to represent where you can do it. It really provides a sense of freedom and when you scale a mountain and look around the view is simply astounding. Far Cry 4 is a massive sandbox game and that's sure not to disappoint you if you like this kind of genre. Follow the missions or go off and liberate all the towers or look for secrets. It's really up to you. The scenery, flora, fauna and fighting all add up to make one hell of an experience that you'll keep coming back to again and again, especially with friends. Jump into co-op after you've finished Act 1 and you can enjoy the game with a mate. It may not be the tense stealth and action gameplay you'll get when playing solo, but it's still sure to be a blast. Far Cry 4 isn't without its bugs though. I've experienced multiple game crashes where the game just hangs, begins to load and never stops, and one where an eagle attacked me when I was hacking a radio tower and then I couldn't move from that spot. What is it with seemingly badly tested games nowadays? For that, the game is marred slightly, but in the main, the game's superb, so Far Cry 4 gets a gorgeous 9 out of 10.